During the time of the black horse and rider in the 3rd century, Caracula and Jetta shared the throne after the death of their father, Septimus. Caracula treacherously murdered his brother, Geta in their mother's arms and then went mad. It's estimated he killed over 20,000 people he feared who may have sided against him. I mention this because it was during Caracula's imperiorship that the national treasury, what was left of it, was drained with his outlandish living. And this was the reason he extended and doubled the taxes of Rome. He brutally extracted assessments against the farmers, which caused the depression of the output of grain, oil, and wine. Prices soared and scarcity prevailed. And then the fourth seal was opened, and the pale horse and rider judgment rode in Revelation 6, 7, which says, When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death, and the grave followed him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth, to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. During this time, in the latter part of the third century, as the pale horse and rider's judgment came upon Rome, it actually overlapped and ran congruently with both the black horse and red horse judgments. For war, economic ruin, famine, and death was everywhere, and Rome's enemies took advantage of their demise. During Decius' second year as emperor, history records a disastrous plague ravaged the earth for almost 20 years killing millions. Now, with civil war and revolution, economic and agricultural ruin, heavy taxes and poverty, the next phase is the complete breakdown of the Roman society. Famine and disease swept the empire, and barbarians on Rome's borders pressed in from all sides, raping and pillaging. There is even an account of the Nazarenes being accused of being responsible for the great increase of attacks upon the population by wild beasts, and thus their persecution knew no end. Gibbons, as quoted by Barnes, estimated that up to 5,000 people a day were dying from sword or famine in the city of Rome alone between 248 and 296 A.D. It is estimated that over one-fourth of the population of the Roman Empire was swept away in these years, thus fulfilling the pale horse prophecy perfectly. Historians Aesopus stated that death waged a desolate war with famine and pestilence. Men wasted away to mere skeletons. They fell down in the streets. Some were already food for dogs. It's interesting to note the exact way Rome persecuted the Nazarenes was the exact way Father judged Rome. Tit for tat, equal retribution. And that is the same way he works today with both individual judgment as well as judgment upon the nations. I'm Bill Sanford, trying to put the book of Revelation in proper perspective in our day.